I'm very impressed the way in which our citizens and businesses have managed to deal with this very deep and uh, crisis and I think our measures need to be efficient as well that means if we're going to allow loans and grants there must be very clear conditions linked to these so that the money will be received where it's most needed I have to also say that there are all sorts of measures that could be taken that don't actually cost money Strengthening the internal market is an absolute necessity in this crisis. And we have to make sure that our fabric of businesses is maintained. International groups are managing to put together enormous sums of money. They don't always have the best intentions, so we have to have safety mechanisms in place. Now, we need to look at the way money is going to be paid out, but also we need to see how it's going to be financed as well. And I think it's extremely important from the point of view of society that the people who are working and are saving should not have to fork out for these financing programmes. Of course, we also need to look at the way in which we're funding, funding this and how the ECB is involved. Some are suffering under the illusion that there's endless amounts of money, uh, but that's not the case. Uh, I think uh, if that were the case, we'd see very quickly problems coming up. Now, I think we also need to look at putting aside one of our big um, bugbears, the issue of... Uh, Big companies uh, paying money, digital companies, they're paying far too little. They should be paying more. It needs to be done in an efficient way, OECD uh, fashion, for example, if possible. But I'm pleased that the EU is taking the advance here. Grazie. Uh... Thank you very much.